Welcome to the show. And here are your hosts, the Diabolical Elite Gaming Guru, the illustrious Red Dead Panda, and the Australian stud, Ashtray Gaming. So let's get this party started. <laughs> uh, we're live. We're live now. <laughs> so hopefully I didn't catch that last bit. Hopefully you did. Why is oh. Hello. Good, mo good oh, morning, everyone. Order. Yeah. Good morning. We just discussing why we just discussing why Jen isn't here. Um. So. <laughs> right. Hello. Yeah. Welcome back to another episode of uh Gamers Initiative Gamers Initiative Podcast Episode One O Five. <laughs> That's one hundred and five. Love you. Uh, yes, thank you all for joining us once again, and it's great to have you all here. We've got in the chat, we've got Dry Hard, we've got Grey Monad, and that's it. So, right. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm sure others will file in soon. <laughs> yeah, we all, yeah, everyone's running a bit late today, aren't they? Easy motherfuckers. Yeah, because it doesn't, right. it doesn't want to get rid of my project lab. Yeah. Here we go. Right, we're going. Right, so, uh, yes, so we've got, obviously we've got the usual panel, uh, Ashray Gaming, and, oh, what's her name? Red Dead Panda, <laughs> but we've got a special guest today, Epic Treasure. Hello, Epic Treasure. How are you doing? Hello. I hope you're good. Yeah, I'm very good. How are you doing? I'm very well. Very good. You just say it like Joey, man. I was just like, yeah, you've just worked it up. It. I'm trying to hide. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. It's Let's fine. Go. I mean, you can't be. You, you're probably going to outdo Elite anyway. He always sounds like he's talking from a fishbowl or the toilet. So yeah, yeah, yeah. He does. yeah. Very, um, <laughs> I, I, I do. I do get around. During yeah. This podcast. <laughs> <laughs> he does the podcast while traveling around in the UK. <laughs> <laughs> Between the fishbowl and the toilet. Uh, uh, but what have um, you been? What have you been up to, um, Epic Treasure? What games have you been playing? A Diablo, non-stop. Um, last night we started it, not community games, but opening up um, of anybody to play as long as they're you know, sane. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> so I don't know why you joined, joined the podcast because Elite's not sane. That, yeah, well, that's that's true. You kind of get a balance it out, I guess. But yeah. <laughs> I did do that and, and went finally to the harder, harder difficulties, but I did get to play some Final Fantasy the other day. Um, and yeah, that's about it thus far. There's a few little indies here and there, but I'm sure I always sort of spread myself. Oh, here I go. Spread myself thin when it comes to, to <laughs> games. And I just, it's really hard to just stay on one at the moment because there's just so many. Yeah. Yeah. But it's like, you know, you really got to just stick to, to Diablo, especially when you change to different games, you've got different controls. And when I got on Final Fantasy, my hands were like, oh, I've got to learn this. This is all <laughs> I can play. And then you go back to Diablo and it's like. You know, it's so different. <laughs> Controllers and yeah, so, yep. that's what I've been doing. Mm. Um, elite. Well, good evening for you where it is where you Hello. are, and yeah. good morning for everyone else who's watching from where we are. Um, but yeah, um, what have you been up to this week? What and... games have you been playing? Well, I just could jump in and say, what's with thingies? Uh, Epic's name on the thing. That's Did Epic. Like, that who've done that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's. Fuck. I'm just an E. Yes, yeah, uh, E. That's I was going to say something else, but you know, maybe I can just. Yeah. Why is it not allowing me to see your full name? Yeah. That's so weird. Yeah, just E. You just He's E dot dot dot. Mm, kinky. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. What is the rest yeah. of it? <laughs> dot dot dot. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but before Ali actually story. answers um, his thing, just quickly shout out to the chat. Um, I hope everyone's having a really good week and uh, we've got some good topics um, today. So, yeah, enjoy. Um, but Ali, what have you been playing? I've been playing Diablo, um, level 40 now. I think that was my dream. dream. Um, but I might dread. And I'm thinking of starting <laughs> a sorcerer as well. Sorcerer or rogue. Well, I, I might, might say hold off on starting a new character with the way seasons are coming because the first season comes in July or arrives in July and um, you will have to pick a new character. As with every, like with Diablo 3 seasons, you always have to start off fresh from level zero and get your way up through the season. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll do that. Mm -hmm. I will do that. Uh, and Conan, I've been playing that. And there's not much really been out, out that's worth playing at the moment. Well, you didn't so, want the so Final yes. Fantasy demo? 
No, no. Do you want to play next gen 720p? Um, <laughs> but, <laughs> it's spicy already. 7, 720, 30 FPS. 720, uh, 60. That's why it's like. Oh, sorry. It's oh, yes. 60. It's not, That's why it gets to 720. It's not locked at 60, though, is it? It's not le- locked at 60, though, is it? No, it's not. It locks when you get into combat. <laughs> And then um, that's why you get that. We'll talk about it. But yeah, continuing on. Um, Yeah. Um, Well, I'll wait for that. Uh, There's a free game going on to, I think it's going to Game Pass, that arcade game. It's got all your arcade favourites in it. So I'm waiting for that to come out. I'll play those. Mm. That's my next game. See, Vampire Survivors is going to the Nintendo Switch and it'll have like four player co op or couch co op. I'm like, yes. You going to pick that up, Red? Uh, Well, what they said is that is coming to that. Those options are coming to all platforms, from my mm. understanding. Obviously not mobile, but um, so I think that that update should be coming to Xbox, and so I'll probably end up playing that with my sister because I love Vampire Survivors. It's such a good game. Yeah, if I'm going to do more traveling in this year for work, I think I might pick it up on my Switch as well because I'll be nice I'll be on the Switch a lot more. So, yeah, that game is addictive, as you all know. So yeah. yeah. Hey, Astray. Mm-hmm. Astray. Yes, sir. Um, do, you think you'll get, do you think you'll get one of those portable PlayStation 5 things? <laughs> PlayStation you need to PlayStation U. 5 to get one? Oh, yeah. Okay. And hell, hell to the no. Um, <laughs> PS4 oh. Slim was the last PlayStation I'm, I'm buying. That's it. No more. Yeah. No more PlayStation. <laughs> you get that portable one so you can take it traveling then, and then you can play Final Fantasy anywhere you want. Great. Astro, <laughs> what have you been playing? I know you've been busy with work. You've been traveling and such, but like, what have yeah. you been playing this week? Yeah, I haven't been home for half the week, so I haven't really played much this week. Um, and I'm, I, I still haven't picked up Diablo. Hopefully, in the next maybe a couple more weeks' time, I can pick it up. Yeah. But um, mm-hmm. nah, I've just been playing a little bit of uh, Breakpoint, Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Um, oh, yeah. I'm still dabbling in that, so that's a bit of fun. Um, but yeah, I haven't been playing much actually. Just trying to readjust back to uh, East Coast time as well. So. Mm. Yeah, but I reckon we should start getting into these topics because it's been a pretty busy week. It is. In gaming and you've got to go at news. nine, so yeah. I do indeed. Yeah, yep. yeah. Sounds good. Let's get into them. Uh, all right. So our first. Oh no! Why is it just that? Could anyone else hear feedback as well? But never. Anyone hear that? Nope. No. No, no, no that's, that's just a you here. problem. Oh, I can keep. Can anyone in the voice. chat hear feedback? That's yeah. I, did, I think I don't think they can. I can hear my own voice. I mean, it sounds incredible. I sound amazing. I <laughs> love that. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be the only one. Uh, so I'm just going to keep talking <laughs> just, and just woo myself. <laughs> right. So first off is, first off is Starfield was already near the, it's really awkward to talk when you can hear yourself in the background. Starfield was already near the top, uh, the top of Steam's top selling charts. So Starfield not even out yet, and it's already looking to dominate the Steam charts. Showing just how anticipated the Bethesda upcoming game is. So yeah, this went to the top of the charts on Steam. Uh, oh, second in charts, I think. Just it was just under CS:GO, but it basically beat thing games like Cyberpunk and everything else. So, um, so yeah, it's come straight off. Not even released yet. Still got three months to go. Two already months. selling really well on Steam, uh, which sort of goes against what the, a lot of the naysayers saying. Saying it won't do well. It needs PlayStation. It will flop. Uh, it sounds to be terrible. You know, that's, that's already been debunked incredible. within a day. <laughs> mm. um, so, what's your opinions on that? What do you think? How do you think? How how much do you think it's going to pick up? Do you think it's going to just continue selling right up until the launch and then continue selling more? Are you starting um, with you Epic think? Treasure? Are you starting with our guest? Well, I was going to finish my question, and then point at someone. Okay. <laughs> Uh, or, oh, I've lost my Go on, let's start with Treasure. <laughs> you ruined it for everyone. I That's just improved it for everyone, okay? <laughs> Enjoy the show, guys. Everyone. Hashtag delete elite. Uh, <laughs> oh, talking to the chat, we've got Jedi join us. We've got General Spartan and Boba Boba. You're an idiot. Yeah, you're such an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Epic. On, He's insane. What's up, Boba? Yeah. That's okay. But yeah, what are your thoughts? Are you surprised by um, Starfield already doing this well and it isn't even out yet? Preliminarily pre I mean, I am. I am, but I'm not. Um, The hype is just so vast with it that I'm not surprised really at all. Like I'm looking at the other games and I'm thinking, yeah, I mean, that's the the most trending one, is it not? So 
I think it'll keep on pumping. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if it climbs up those those charts um and i think that'll continue i hope it continues you know after launch yeah. for goodness sakes um but um we'll see what happens but i'm going to play it on maybe pc i had a lot of people help me to make sure that i could actually do it on pc only for the mods really yeah. um yeah but yeah so i'm not sure if yeah how many um people are going to be playing on console or pc because you're wanting, because I think I saw your tweet, you're wanting to make sure that your PC can run the game and look somewhat okay and also stream it on yes, Twitch at exactly. the same time, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I did see your problem. tweet. Yeah. I think, yeah, I think you, it, based yeah. off your specs, you should be okay for the most part. Yeah, yeah I think you should be pretty good. Yeah. yeah. I think it was just settings that I had on my, on my computer that I couldn't believe how helpful the, like, yeah, the community was just overwhelmingly... Um, helpful it was just wild like they fixed my my everything um and then suddenly when i was playing pc games like giving them a trial i had no more screen tearing or anything like that i'm thinking jeez you know so i don't think i'm going to convert full full bang to pc because i love console but um yeah i'm pretty confident it'll play fine fingers crossed because you know i want those freaky mods i don't know about you but i'm diving into that world when that comes out um for starfield and the 60 yeah. FPS is all your property on PC, I guess. Yeah, true. Yeah. But it's really for the mods. The mods. Yeah. The naughty mods? Not really. We'll, we'll <laughs> that later. You, you can be honest on here. You can be honest. <laughs> <laughs> the naked mods. Um, yeah. Actually, talking about that, is, is there sex in the game? Yes. Is there, you know, like sort of Mass Effect style? And... Yes. Is there going to be. Do you, uh, that was announced months ago. Was it? No. Oh, yeah, it was old. announced when they were talking about the rating for the game. Yeah. Oh, yeah. was it? I didn't see that. I knew the ratings, but I thought it'd be because of gambling and all sorts of bits. I didn't think that would be drug a use. Full blown. Yeah, it was just yeah. it was the zero use. gravity yeah, the six use. that really put it over. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. yeah. Mm. That's when I looked at it. It just said drug use on like the thing that yeah, I had that's seen. Yeah, I thought it was just like, drug use. Yeah. R rated. What? You guys? Um, I they're not going to have any of those gravity. fade to black cutscenes where in every video game with the snow game it's just gonna yeah. <laughs> no, no, they will, they can will. You, can, uh, you, can you choose the size of your PP like in Conan? Why is that yeah. all you want to do in a game? Because he needs to, he needs to live out a fantasy where he has a big dong, a unlike real game. life, and I can understand that. Yeah, yeah. I had a big cyberpunk. Mm. <laughs> yeah, fair yeah. enough. Fair enough. Yeah. You can't you can't adjust the women's size though, can you on games? <laughs> Would you want I to adjust that? Uh, like, well, not no. You couldn't, you couldn't angle it. You couldn't make it. You know, choose which way it hung. But could you be small? It, or it depends. You might want a Pamela Anderson sized one. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Anyway, uh, we're not on PlayStation. This isn't Pornhub. So let's get back to the topic. Um, I'm, I'm a bad influence. I'm a <laughs> prophet. It's Wow. Don't worry, we're we're all bad influencers. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Ashtray, were you surprised by the news for this? Have no, you? I mean we 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 know that um, they're the makers of Skyrim and Elder Scrolls, and they they've always been pretty big on PC. But the what what it was around the timing of the or just after the deep dive, um, and I think that deep dive was so thorough and detailed that that gave a lot of people excitement for what they could do um you know thoughts and ideas of what they could create and they've just gone yep that's a day one for me done and that's just why it shot up the charts um on steam now we know it's only one platform but at the same time uh it's indicative of of the hype levels that you can see for the game um it's going to be a game that will continue to sell well past launch yeah it, it's going to be one of those decade decade defining games so it'll sell for years to come and again like you guys have already mentioned mods modding community is massive um hopefully they open up some of those mods to uh, to console as well or allow them uh to be available to use on console that'd be that'd be cool because i mean you know at the end of the day consoles are sort of like closed pcs so it should be able to to be able to at least handle what people sort of make uh when they're when they're making stuff on pc um so yeah and look we've already heard that it's got uh what is it a thousand planets there's going to be a hundred of those with life on it i mean it's going to be 
pretty close to the real thing, as close as we're all going to get to to traveling in space. And um, a lot of us are intrigued by space and wanting to go to different planets and seeing different ecosystems and stuff. So um, it's, yeah, I think it's going to be one of those games that people play for basically for, a, I don't know, but a shitload of time, a very long time, years and years to come. So, yeah, Red, this is something that this is a game that you've uh, been keeping an eye on as well. What oh. do you think is happening there? And I do think... you reckon it's indicative of How many all, the, all the PlayStation guys with their high end rigs? <laughs> what are you talking yeah. about? None of them want to play Starfield because apparently it's shit. It's got full of empty worlds and, um, you know, it looks like a PS2 game or PS3 game or whatever they've been calling it. And, and they're using their high end rigs to create positions as well. Yeah. Um, the customer <laughs> character customization is awful. And I don't know. They're just they're lunatics. Like, it's a Bethesda game through and through. And to all those guys who are saying all this crap, they've played Bethesda titles. They're just sad it's not coming to their um, platform. So they are trying to cope some way. And if that means trashing on a game that we all know they want to play that is what they're going to do in order to get through their day guys and that didn't intentionally rhyme I swear <laughs> um, but I'm not at all surprised what is it five days early access or four days early access um, if you pre-order the game five that's five. why five days early access you know that everyone just doesn't FOMO is going to be a massive thing like Diablo 4 with the four days early access um, insane in that respect because the amount of people who are playing it and then telling their friends to buy it and then FOMO happened and we're still waiting to get, get I guess, finalized sales numbers for Diablo 4 but Starfield's going to be the same regardless of it just coming out on the Xbox ecosystem and coming out on PC it's going to do massive um, you can't ignore it this is going to be the most polished game and part of that was them scaling back um, and not launching it on the PlayStation 5. That means that they had extra um, development time in the sense of focusing it on just the SKUs that it was coming to. So hopefully the PC version is also a lot more stable than the um, the than previous Bethesda games. But this is just indicative of that amazing showcase that they had oh, um, yeah. for the Starfield Direct. That showcase, like, I was not sold on Starfield because I couldn't see the Bethesda DNA in what they'd shown up until that point. I was still excited for it, and it was coming to Game Pass day one. But now, thoroughly 100% behind this game, more so than anything else. And I think everyone, this was that tipping or deciding factor for people to really go is Starfield going to be one of those games of the generation? And I think it is in the modern community. You can just tell that they're super excited to jump in and have another Bethesda title to kind of run rampant with and, and make it their own and really role play the way they want to role play. So it's just going to be one of those games that's just going to do excessively well. And we're going to hear more and more about how well it's doing with pre-order sales and even like sales figures. Eventually people are saying like, it's not even going to reach 3 million. Um, Highly unlikely that that's a reality. It's going to definitely surpass that um, easily, in my opinion. Yeah, so not surprised. Super excited to play Starfield. Still deciding if I play it on PC or if I play it on Xbox. Yeah. Sure. Well, considering uh, Skyrim uh, has gone on to sell over 60 million copies, I would think that uh, Starfield's probably going to do that, if not more. Well, that was across multiple platforms, right? Yeah, yeah. over over what twenty years or whatever. Starfield's going to go was. to Nintendo Switch and be played through the cloud, <laughs> probably. Probably. I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if it ended up on the next iteration of the Switch, whatever that may be, um, because Nintendo have to increase the power of their next console for sure. I mean, what they've got now is bloody way out of date, so they're going to have to try and catch up at, at some you know, in some way, but um, they're going to release anniversary editions. They're going to release different uh, versions of the game. Game of the year the editions. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So we will see this, this, um, this game sell a, a shitload of copies in the, you know, high millions um, based on, based, based on all of that. And just looking at the past um, history of, of like, and like I said, like some console and stuff. sales. So this will, this will push a little absolutely. bit of console sales, I reckon. Um, oh yeah, it will do. Yeah. And it's also going to. If they bundled it. <laughs> yeah um 
But yeah, Elite, we didn't really hear much from you. What are your thoughts? No, yeah. Um, and this is the high. This is the hundred dollar pound version, isn't it? This is the high price the, version. Yeah, so, this is the the. So this like... has been making tons of money so far, but uh, yeah, I, I just wish they would make. I think it would have pushed more units if I don't know how much it'd be bundled with the Xbox when it does release. If it will be bundled at all, they'll probably do that but, around Christmas. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> after the preliminary but I think they've sales. Missed, missed a massive trick with this game by not making a why why special would it edition need... console oh, I, I was just gonna say that too yeah, yeah. yeah. special Beautiful. edition console yeah who oh, wouldn't have bought that console everyone yeah. would have flocked flocked and bought that console I most definitely Did you would have get bought the one controller no i didn't know i've tried to oh, get it really yeah is. i can't explain it like you know i thought i'd seen pictures of it but when you open it up, it's so crisp and shiny and beautiful. Yeah. And I was like, I love oh, the clear shit. triggers. Oh, uh, that's what sold me. Because I thought, are these things going to light up? Because I had no idea. I love, I love transparent stuff. You know, like the some controllers, some off-brand controllers, like the Afterglow one that's totally see-through. And I love that stuff. And when I saw those triggers, I'm like, oh, my goodness. Um, well, that's what, so, why yeah, I kind of got the that. Xbox 20 year one because it had some transparency yes. in it and some yeah people hate it like even the forza one is like a little bit transparent love That's it my favorite controller takes me back, back, back to my nintendo 64 days okay. <laughs> you think that's a nostalgic thing that transparency kind of stuff like there was a lot of that stuff yeah. back then maybe but i also think it's like curiosity if you really enjoy gaming and you kind of like think that the controller's is awesome you kind of want to have a nosy at the what's going on inside right the intricate yeah, details yeah. um of it yeah that controller looks amazing it reminded me like of i guess kind of like the titanfall controller um on the xbox one like they mm. do really some really good um uh customize like oh my god i can't even think of it um ah, whatever controllers um i can't think of the word but yeah they do some really good options but they definitely missed yeah a beat by not making um yeah, like a white xbox color thing and then putting stuff it all over yeah, it yeah exactly same as the control has anyone got the headset is the headset any good i did not i didn't because i no. bought a recent new headset of the bl the standard version of what this headset is but yeah the power on is meant to have its unique yeah, sound it's all got unique sounds to it yeah a lift off sound isn't it yes yeah, i don't know i haven't heard it yeah um it's like a lift off sound uh but I mean, to your point, Elite, is, all they really need to do is to push player engagement is just put, like, two weeks of Game Pass in with the um, the box and then just kind of put marketing on for Starfield on that to kind of say, play it, you know, day one with Game Pass or whatever, and then they can kind of encourage people to continue on that subscription that way. Yeah. I reckon that's what they'll need. They'll end up doing. They might even put a, a digital copy of the game in with the console eventually, maybe end of the year. Mm. Yeah, but yeah, it's a bit of a shame they didn't. Yeah, make it. That would have been fantastic. I think that would have, that would have just sold the console. Yeah. Walking into a store and seeing those on shelves that would just just destroy her. I think so. I think it would have outsold the PlayStation Five easily. <laughs> launch that, but I just don't know why they might do that. It's the only good thing Sony does. I think on top they keep making these custom consoles, and the Xbox don't, does, doesn't do it anymore. A bit of a shame, them really. Why they've not? Why they chose not to? I'd be very interested. Yeah. Really interested to know. Yeah, because I did. I think the last custom console was the Minecraft one, wasn't it? Remember that mm. one? I don't think, um, anything since I think then. they still had supply issues with it because we haven't seen a lot of Xboxes around, and maybe they were artificially holding them back, ready for the Starfield release. Um, so I think I that's part of it, so that they can try and push console sales right when Starfield releases again. Um, because now we're seeing that that assembly line is kind of ramping up in the sense of seeing more Series Xs out in the wild. Um, but that could be part and part of why they aren't doing custom custom consoles because they still haven't got a very stable, I guess, supply. Yeah, supply. Yeah. Yeah. yeah look, they, they they've done a couple of different custom consoles. Like there was the um, uh, what do you call it, the Boba Fett one, um, whatever that, the Mandalorian. The that's one. it. 
No, no, no. But they did. They, if you have a look on, uh, go back on Twitter. There was a Mandalorian one, but you couldn't buy it. You could only win it in a sweepstakes. So they've done wow. a couple of those as well, which is unfortunate. But I mean, I, yeah, they, they've kind of missed this because they've they, they delayed the game an extra year, which would have given the, given them a bit more time to make some con custom consoles as well, and yeah. you know. It being such a big game like Halo, I've got the Halo edition one. Yeah, suck it, Halo, suck yeah. it, Boba. Um, <laughs> that uh, that it, it's a bit of a miss actually on that because Starfield's going to be huge and and yeah, you're right. They should have had a custom console for it, but that maybe they can do it the uh, one year anniversary or yeah. something. Who knows? Yep. Who knows? When it comes um, to Switch, <laughs> Switch will get a custom. Yeah. <laughs> no, okay. Switch has got some nice custom consoles. They do, they do, they do, yeah. they do. Hello, nice yeah. to see you on the show. Can you do me a big favor? I know. Call Elite a fraud, he won't mind. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting. I was going to read your comment out as well, Fark, but I won't know. Fuck you. Beat you. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, yeah, no. I was going to say, no, uh, Fark, you said he bought the, uh, con the headset and controller, but he's not tried them yet, but he's got them both, so. That's not good to us, fuck you. I just... should have bought the headset and just put yeah. it away. I yeah. Would, I would destroy that pretty pretty quickly. <laughs> it, yeah. I like the big, you know, the big heavy, heavy, heavy headset. So that yeah. one looks like I would dirty it up. I I'm don't. Just, yeah. I do like the fact that <laughs> once, just like, once you once you put the headset on, it locks the, it in place in the sense of the um, headband won't adjust until you take it off so you don't have to worry about oh. slipping or anything like that oh. i do miss i do miss my um my steel series arctis nines i do miss them because those were what broke so i had to get a replacement headset um mm. i don't have the starfield version of that headset um and i do recommend if you do get it go onto youtube and look up some videos around adjusting the equalizer settings for this so you get better sound quality when you're playing your game so yeah oh, they're nice. doing, doing some doing some research um into that so you're getting your money's worth out of that headset yeah <clears throat> okay. nice well just before we just before we jump into the next topic uh just remind everyone that you're listening to the gamers initiative podcast with myself ashtray elite gaming guru red dead panda and our special guest epic treasure Please like and share this out, guys, on Twitter and social media um, and try and get a few more people in here. And, um, yeah, let's move on to our next topic. Elite. Well, yeah, I was going to say, um, I mean, Starfield looks incredible, but not as incredible as Fable, apparently, because <laughs> people, because the game looks so good that people are convinced that it's not gameplay, that it's actual just cutscenes that they've been shown. CGI. CGI, yeah. CGI, yeah. So, and recently the deve developer come out amused by it all saying why don't you think it's gameplay what, what what gives you that impression and i think he said it on an interview as well he, says, he said it's one of the best compliments um yeah and i think that's yeah. fair yeah <clears throat> so um so what, what you what you guys got to say about it really it's not me much to say about it other than he's come out and i just mean there are two girls on this podcast gameplay. elite um so three uh, <laughs> so what are you guys means that ashtray is the only one who can answer this oh, okay yeah, yeah what does oh, everyone right, think <laughs> well, God, this is not, not with you, Red, because you know, this this game does it for you. So. Hey, <laughs> hey. <laughs> what we talk about when we're not live on the podcast stays then. I'm kidding. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, you <laughs> all know how time. I feel about Fable. And I was, and myself and Astro were both defending that there was gameplay shown during the Fable um fable segment mm -hmm. of the showcase and it definitely was it talked about in-game gameplay like they might not have had a hard up on screen or anything like that but you could see the different like the sections where there was gameplay i would have liked more gameplay yeah. not going to deny that but from what i can tell very impressed with it and um i'm happy that people are going this isn't gameplay this isn't gameplay this isn't gameplay because when it eventually launches and it's like that it's like so Xbox can do good games that you guys are sort of not believing when it comes to the graphics side of it, but no doubt they'll somehow trash the graphics in the game. But I'm not surprised, and I'm kind of happy that they acknowledged it on there, saying that it was gameplay and that yeah, they felt comp. Sure. Yeah, I feel like that was a really important thing for it. Um, but Epic, do you wanna do you wanna jump in? What are your thoughts on? How beautiful yeah. was it though? It was just so stunning. I was confused. Now I've got a question for you first. Um, 
in regards to Xbox's tweet with their with their glitter trail. Now, tell you knew, didn't you? You knew that it was it, um, alluding to Fable being in a showcase. Surely, yes, didn't you? Yeah. Because some people, even after Neil, if you're listening to this, um, still don't think that it. It was. It was just a coincidence of some. I mean, weird thing like I that, knew that I the mean, music wasn't Fable, and that's what kind of all I was pointing out was the music's not Fable. Fable music, yeah. but they were using the same instruments. And it yeah, it was Fable. It was Fable esque. Fable-esque, <laughs> but um, people were like, no, it's Fable. It's the Fable music from this and this. I'm like, go back and listen yeah. to it. It's not. But yes, it's very indicative of we all knew Fable was going to be there. Like, I'm yeah. so excited. I was a bit naughty. I I got um I made a little news thing out of that um that tweet with the music, and uploaded it to YouTube to see if it got flagged uh, for copyright to see who were the who, who owned that music, so I could then go back and suss out um, <laughs> you know, who, who had the rights to it. But it never showed up, which I'm like, that was back you know, before the showcase. Yeah. So I was trying to be detective. Um, but as soon as I saw that, then I had this sort of big dilemma in my mind. I was thinking, you know, Hell, I, I was sure that Hellblade would open, be the opener of that showcase because it would have just been, wow. But then, yeah, then Fable came up and I'm like, wow, that is really pretty. And um, yeah. Kudos to Playground Games, yeah. Yeah. It's it's funny, though. Like, these days, everybody just wants to see um, the gameplay. And it, for me, I kind of like to see, a, like, a total package of a trailer, just like, you know, like a movie. I know some people hate that. They want to see exactly what they're going to get. But for me, there's, like, so much hype um, when everything's sort of bundled up with the CGI and to tell you the story and to tie in everything like that instead of just, you know... I did a good job with this, with this trailer, um, though. But in general, um, I don't think trailers have the impact as they used to anymore because you know everybody's just so pressed to just see gameplay only. Um, but I thought it was yeah lovely and yeah sure looked like gameplay to me. So yeah, ashtray. Yeah, there were so many deniers that there was gameplay in that. And now we know they're only small snippets that I actually recorded the uh video and then i cut the gameplay out and put it on twitter just to show hey guys these were the gameplay sections and um you know there's that one where the camera's spinning around while she's like jumping on the guy or whatever then throws the the um fireballs and you could tell that was gameplay because that's what that's what they do in in a lot of games is is that kind of um when you do like a, a special move it'll then sort of cut to a scene where you where they show it to you and then it goes back to gameplay so it's that kind of stuff that we get to see um but you could tell by the movement especially when the character was running across the uh the tables and that with the giant you could tell by the movement that it was gameplay because it's different to um like you know cgi animations which are generally smoother mm. um so my eye could pick that up pretty easily and um and so it was obvious to me, but uh, yeah, I wish they showed more gameplay. Um, hopefully, hopefully sometime next year, because uh, I don't think we're going to see anything else this year. No, I'd be I'd, I'd be highly surprised the game's if coming we out did. In 2025. Yeah, so I think next year they do need to do about a 10 minute um, gameplay preview, mm. you know, and and actually go through some stuff now also some people are saying oh but it doesn't look anything like fable it doesn't look anything like fable it looks exactly like fable to it me does. yeah it's new it's not you know you go back to the old games they're dated they really are Overly unfortunately cartoony, yeah. and and sort of a bit kiddie well this is a little bit more adult because we're more adult now as well right and it's still got that in you know uh mis- mysterious yeah, and yeah. it's all sort of yeah, like it's got that fantasy and stuff taken look to it. The so. idea of fables, like general fables, like the giants and all of that, and really put that into the DNA of what fable can be based on. I guess back at the back in the day, the limitations back then they couldn't really do what they wanted to do with that game, and like Peter Molyneux was always kind of spouting all these things that the games could do, but they never quite hit what he was kind of hyping up. And I think yeah. we're now at a point where technology has reached that that level where you can kind of go, this is what we want to do, and we now have the systems, the engine, even the console to 
push this out on and i'm just looking forward to seeing what other sort of stuff they bring in from like because there's so many fables essentially out there in the wild that they could bring into this game and like litter it into the dna of fable itself and really really take that name and run with it yeah yeah and i think uh, also what we saw was um you know we're gonna see that good mocap as well because that looked that looked really good it was flawless, actually. So we're gonna we're we're in for a treat with that game. We're gonna get great detail. Um, we're gonna get good graphics. Um, and I know Red and I are gonna play it. Um, Epic, are you gonna play it as well? Are you a Fable fan? Yeah, for sure. Um, Absolutely. It's been, a, been a long time. I tried to play it again. Um, we tried to play it co-op, um, but it just didn't hit. You know, I I don't know. Yeah. It's when you when it's just spoilt for all, all these newer games. We try to go back and. Um, but I had such fond memories of that, and thank God for that that uh, glitter trail, that glowy trail, because I would have got lost so many times if I didn't have it. I'd be interested yes. to see if they put how much of that they put into this. Yeah. Um, but as somebody who gets lost in games all the time, that is a, a game changer for me every time. I reckon it's going to give us an option where you can have it like on thick, sort of light, and then off, something yeah. like that. They I used didn't... to have options, I think. Yeah, had, like... I think so. Like the okay. waypoint in in Diablo Four, kind of you can just you can just switch it on and off, can't you? I reckon you just do that. I reckon you have the option to turn it on or turn it off. I mean, they've always so. had the option. Um, I think, especially in Fable Three, I can't remember if it was toggleable and like a toggle option in um, Fable Two or not, because it's been a while since I've touched that Fable game. Um, but yeah, you had the option to toggle on and off the the glitter trail. Yeah, so I reckon it'll yeah. still be there. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, and, and, and yeah, this ain't the only game that's sort of puzzled them. Didn't it? Hellblade Two, they also thought had no game play, game play in it, but that also had that had like game play in it as well. A smidgen. Yeah. Yeah. Fable had more gameplay, and they were compl- like, yes. yeah, it, it was all an engine and all set up for. I mean, all set yeah. up running on a Series X, so yeah. which is quite impressive for for what we saw yeah. in the fidelity piece. Um, that th- for yeah. that fidelity though, thirty FPS locked. They should yeah. hopefully we're getting a performance mode because I would love to play. Hellblade in 60, especially with combat, because I enjoyed Hellblade in 60, or, or Hellblade 1 in 60 on my, my, my 1X, or series, yeah. I can't remember which one it was actually anymore. Two it would have been your 1X. Uh, my 1X, yeah, it would have been. I would say. Uh, probably. And obviously the, obviously the game would be tackling different fables. I mean, we see the giants in it, so a lot from Jack and the Beanstalk, so you'd be going up that. Yeah. And then uh, you see they showed werewolves as well. So that would be another fable. Yeah, so the only question is, is will you start as a child in it and grow up or will you just... I reckon. That, be, I hope so. It dep- well, it depends on where they start the story from, right? Yeah. Um, I reckon it will give us the same options as the previous games where you can choose um, your gender, etc. But yeah. whether it starts us off as, as children or you kind of come in halfway through, uh, you know, teen years or, or, or young adult maybe it's hard to say yeah. it depends on where they want to kick this off do they because they're going to want to make it their own game so that in a lot of ways so they're going to have traits and and things from the previous games but they're probably going to want to try and have a story of their own so it, look yeah. anything's possible anything's possible the caliber of the voice acting they got to bring um they've got to yeah. bring that actress in who, who played Teresa. like honestly that oh, would just kind of like keep yeah. that whole little bit of fable dna throughout the whole thing oh i love i love that actress um i can't think of her name but she's such a cool voice um all right oh, that's a, that's a someone okay uh, right, sorry it. Uh, I was just going to say hello to the crowd. We've got here now. We've got uh, David Cohen has joined us. We've got Grey Man still with us. Jedi Knight Peter with us. Uh, Ganger in denial is still with us. Rue Shadow has just joined us. Uh, thank you. And Boba Fett still in the chat. Thank you all. And is this fuck you fucked off? I'm not sure. Fuck you still there. But thank you all for being and sticking with us. Uh, we appreciate the support. Please sub, share, and like. Let's get on to the next topic if you guys are ready. Nope. Okay. That's what's going to happen when you ask. <laughs> Computer right. says no. <laughs> says no. I'm going to. I'm going to just move on then. Yep. All right. <laughs> that's, 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 all right. Gamers petition to stop Elder Scrolls Six being Xbox exclusive. Exclusive. So struggles yeah. to hit fifty signatures. <laughs> 50 signatures. Yeah. <laughs> I love 
And this is the second second position, isn't it? Well, it was, there was the other position, wasn't there? What was the other position? Was that for Starfield to, to be on PlayStation as well? There was two really positions, weren't there? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so there's, there's just been another petition to, to stop Elder Scrolls 6. So it's not even got an announcement or anything. Any sort of, I don't know, relevance at the moment yet. But they thought they'd kick off early just to make sure they get their, their pennies worth. So, uh, petitions. What do you guys think of that, these petitions that keep popping up and... Your generous general sort of census on it all. Yeah, I think it's pretty sort of sad and uh, grasping, especially when you have sort of spent generations saying Xbox has no games and their games are trash, but then you create petitions to have their games. Um, just... How much clout do you give these petitions? I'm just going to say... Do you think anyone ever takes notice of them? I'm just going to say they all need to hit a GA um, meeting, so a Gamers Anonymous meeting, and really talk out yeah. their feelings, yeah. <laughs> Hug it out. Yeah. What's, what's your opinion on well, this, I know you love a good petition. Well, yeah, yeah, right. So, I mean, <laughs> petitions are supposed to be there for actual change within communities and big businesses and stuff that's like legitimate. And these are just, you know, crybaby fanboys just trying to. It's not going to go anywhere. That I don't think they ever do. I don't think they ever will. And the, you know, what I find amusing is when they ask for like a hundred signatures or or a thousand signatures you know if they really believe in their petition ask for a, a ten thousand s signatures or or a million or something ridiculously big that if you think that you you know you know yeah like something but just like a hundred signatures like anyone can get that and people were people signed the petitions just so they could comp leave a comment to say you know you're, you're a idiot. loser and <laughs> And all that yeah, kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they've said it. I, I read through one of them. I don't think it was this petition. It was the other one. Um, and people going, yeah I, I, yeah, I just signed it to say, you know, get a life and <laughs> shit like that. So, yeah. What look, if you got passed? That'd have been it's pretty lame. Hmm? <laughs> what if that petition got passed? I said, oh, look, there's 100,000 people have signed the petition and one of them is your name. But then where does it go, right? They've got to take the petition to <laughs> uh, what? it's got to go to like xbox or bethesda yeah. and then they've got to like nothing's going to happen they'll just ignore it <laughs> yeah you, do it? you know do it's not going to go to court it. right yeah so and <laughs> 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 you just got your things like you'll get a life on it <laughs> <laughs> so i you know i it's just yeah it's a waste of time for everybody but it does it, it is amusing and it's good content for us to talk about yeah. funny it, Mm -hmm. Got anyone, anyone else's opinions on it? Yeah, Red, it's, well, it's got 1,777 signatures at the moment. 1,777. Like, I'd like to know because wow. Matt B is that uh, started it. Um, yeah. Matt Booty. They're trying to make a joke out of it, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm so sure that's okay. what it, I'm so sure that's what they're doing with it. I'm sure it is. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, well, I'm you know, sure. it had more more people sign that than people were playing Lawbreakers from Cliffy B. So. <gasps> and, oh, she. <laughs> that was pretty <laughs> savage. I must admit. Sorry. Cliff was going to be on the show next week, but now he's not. He's oh. just told me he's not coming on. And and Red, you're a bitch. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Only one text. Oh. <laughs> Imme immediate text. Immediately. <laughs> yeah. Heard it the page. <laughs> he 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 just was listening to before it even went live on the actual um on YouTube. Like he, that's how he's listening to it, right? Mm -hmm. He's in our Discord. Yep. Yeah. Yep. yep. Sounds about right. I did I did ask him to be on the show. But he, and he I'm the it. reason why he won't join yet. Yeah, it's yeah. all your fault, man. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's 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 got nothing to do with elite being a loser. Yeah, that's true. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I reckon it's because I'm very handsome, and I think he just feels a bit insecure about it. Uh that you know what? I reckon you're right. Yeah, I reckon. Yeah. That's the most logical explanation. <laughs> it's the most realistic. <laughs> um, Boba, love, can we love... call out Boba's comment? Can we all sign a say? petition to stop Elite uh, from playing Conan? What? Game, I think that might get more signatures. Shut down, right? Yeah, <laughs> like let's get the game shut down so we can't play it. I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah. It's disgusting. Oh. New season just started. It. They actually yeah. update this game. They actually update this game. I'm like. Halo. <laughs> Halo's um, started a new season Halo, right now. Yeah. What are you talking about? Yeah. You're an egg. 
Yeah. <laughs> I, but I do like the title to this uh, petition. It says, Stop Microsoft's Decision on Making Elder Scrolls 6 Exclusive. They already made that dis- decision like two years yeah. ago. Yeah. Um, when was this? This was done in, on the 19th of June. So, I mean, you know, they've already said it's going to be exclusive. We get the, so wait till luck. we get the um, Indiana Jones Jones um, petition. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm sure that would be next. Uh, actually, yeah, that, there, that, there should be a way for me to search that on that petition oh, website, shouldn't there? Probably yeah, yeah, there is. Do it. But do it. Do it. No, I reckon they're going to go, it's, it's not even news. a massive IP. Who really cares about it? I'm like, yeah, that's oh, what I've got. I've just seen the post. Really yeah. Yeah. No, no, nobody knows who Indiana Jones is. If I'm, you know, it's just ridiculous. There's My kids know who Indiana Jones is. <laughs> oh, no. Who doesn't know? Everyone Indiana knows Jones. Indiana Jones. It, yeah. If you've Jones. been to if you've been to Disney Disneyland or Disney World or whatever, you know who Indiana Jones is. Like they have a yeah. ride. It's awesome. Yeah. Um, the only thing is, I feel really bad now about that. We were talking about on the Indiana Jones. I feel really bad about the Indiana Jones leak because because um, that would have been a bit a big massive. Sort we all of, knew it was exclusive yeah. anyway. We were all saying it's exclusive yeah. from when well, the Bethesda yeah, we deal was, went. A lot of people didn't believe it. It wasn't official. A lot of people didn't believe it. A lot of people did. Yeah. Yeah, there was so, still some doubt that it could be cause like because yeah. of the messaging but, around it being a case by case basis, right? And now we that, know that yeah. Phil is the final nail in that coffin. Yeah. <laughs> and that, 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 that a- and it's a Disney game, and they thought yeah, you know that, it'll right. be multi platform for sure, but it clearly it was at one point. They're gonna get oh, the yeah. new I'm sad um, now. I'm like, I'm you're making the empathy come out of me now. I'm like, oh no, now they're gonna miss out on the nostalgia and. Yeah. Really? But, their their comments, the their well, comments was ju- if you want to play a PlayStation game, just buy a PlayStation. Yeah, my yeah, my thing right. is like if you're gonna be if you're gonna tow that line, you got to be willing to hear that said back to you yeah. now. Like if you want to play this game, PC or buy Xbox. An Xbox. Yeah. Exclusive. Or Game Pass. I think what makes it yeah. I think yeah. what makes it worse is I remember ages it'll come out that uh Harrison Ford's voicing it, isn't he? Voicing it in the Jones. I believe so. Ooh, yeah, they come out. So. Now I really have to play that game. <laughs> yeah, he's going to be voicing it. So. <laughs> Love Harris Ford. <sighs> yeah. Um, but yeah, sorry. Did I skip a topic or did I jump straight into the next topic by mistake? We, we no, we just made up a topic. Yeah, it was <laughs> derail. Uh, yeah, yeah, derailed. Yeah, oh, well, that wasn't even was on topic. It was just yeah, you know, branching off creatively. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like we, we're yeah, going to talk about it eventually when we get to our end topic, but yeah. Well, let's just do it now. Just go for it. You don't want to talk let's about the in. price prices going yeah, up? Let's let's get rid of the price one. So, yeah. so disappointed. Oh, well, we can keep that one. It's just might as well stay on Indiana Jones. We're talking about Indiana Jones. No, I just think that's a big, it's a big shame because that would have been a massive mic drop, I think, to them to have done it at a show. And it's a shame knowing that Xbox, knowing that the FTC would have seen this information and it would have been leaked and everyone would have found this out. They might as well have announced it at their show. They might as well have said, we've not got anything to show yet, but just just so well, you the know. the preliminary injunction that at crazy. the time yeah. of the show hadn't been put forward by um, the FTC to block the deal. Oh, no. Uh, no, so this so all came up out of that and now this is yeah. why we're getting that hearing. So that, yeah. yeah. Xbox must be guided to lose that sort of... To lose to announcing that as an Xbox exclusive, that would have been a big deal, but it's a shame they've lost that. But anyway, yeah, anyway, it's still, yeah, like a little bonus, it was like a little bonus showcase of it. It's like an Easter egg, eh? What can we find? (laughs) Secret one, so yeah, and no doubt more stuff's gonna come out. Oh, not necessarily. Um, yeah, I think they won't have done that with so many other games, but yeah, but I mean, like. We'll talk about it later anyway. Um, any other uh, thoughts around the... Um, petition? Yeah, the petition. Yeah, I think, Astro, yeah. you're still looking up to see if you can find the Jones one or not? <laughs> no, I, I did. I couldn't find anything, so no one started Let's one Let's start yet, one now, Astro. It, it, yeah, it's it'll happen. Start one. Yeah. Can we make it really, really, really toxic? Yeah, sure. Yeah, Absolutely. For it. All right. All <laughs> <laughs> right. So so our next topic is Microsoft is hiking the price of Xbox Series X and X. Uh, uh, Series, Series X, X, X and Game, X. Yep. That's hard to read. Uh, Xbox Game Pass. Anyway, Only the price of Game Pass. Oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> it remained it remain the same price in the US and matched the PS5 pricing in most other markets. So uh, I've done a little poll on this, actually. So far, we're at 
have a look at the poll I've got here. Ninety-two percent say yes. They will continue to pay for uh, oh, Game Pass. Game yeah. Pass. Yeah, I've got what you mean. Come on, man. And eight percent will are not going to pay for it anymore. What? So some people that are going to stop paying for it. So, uh, what's your guys' opinions on this? Um, is it? Uh, are you upset by the price hike? Again, you can only answer Astro because he referred to the guys. So, uh, no, shit. okay, yeah. <laughs> just, just come with me. Oh, let's go to Epic Treasure. Just come with me, Epic Treasure. <laughs> no, I kind of expect it with everything. Everything else has gone up, so I'm not going to get upset about this. But I was surprised in the showcase there wasn't a big sort of thing about family game pass and stuff like that. I think it's because it's um, still yeah. in preview. Hey, yeah. Epic, can we get your volume up a little bit? Yeah, I've put, yeah. pushed you up on right. Discord, but you're still a bit quiet. All right, is that better? That's Yarb. better. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Full bang. It's a bit <laughs> full hellblade Full in your bang. ear <laughs> no it doesn't bother me but that's just i guess that's out of conditioning though from everything else whether it be you know netflix or whatever else um you know i just expect everything to to go up expect it to yeah. stay the same to me it's just uh, it's, it would be nice but i just wouldn't yeah no, I think it's fine yeah, it's a shame that it's uh, not going up in US. I mean, they keep getting away with everything. Mm. Uh, Japan, Chile, Brazil, Colombia. So it's it's US, Japan. They obviously don't want to put the prices up in Japan if they can help it because they, they need to try and build. Yep. Yeah, yeah. To, and then yeah. South America, they know that, that they're going to buy consoles and stuff there um, and they're not putting it up there. So uh, the rest of the world's going to suffer in Australia, New Zealand, um, UK. You know, we're definitely yeah. always in yeah. the crosshairs of these things. Um, the Commonwealth, right? And uh, you know that the CMA is blocking that yeah, deal. Yeah, I saw so... that. I'm <laughs> kidding. I, I saw that Commonwealth uh, <laughs> comment on Twitter the other day, and I was like, "That doesn't make any sense." <laughs> no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't work that way. We're all independent countries still, yeah. so you know, in terms of how how our governments work and our yeah. uh, regulatory bodies work. Yeah, exactly. So, um, yeah. Look, no one likes a price increase at all. Um, no one, and and it's it's that time of you know year we're in in that circumstance where there's recessions coming. You know, rents and mortgages have gone up, um, so we're paying for a lot more stuff, and you know it sucks for all of us. And these, you know, I've seen people say on Twitter, you know, it's annoying when these billion dollar companies are making profit, and then they choose to and they gloat about it, and then they choose to put the pricing up. I, I get that as well. And I understand that, but you've got to also got to understand that businesses have to make profit, otherwise that the business won't exist, and they have to make certain profit. So maybe they're making profit, sure. Maybe that it's in the in the millions or even billions, right? In Xbox's case, however, it might be only at a margin of say I don't know, say for example, thirty percent. Well, they need to hit a margin of thirty-five percent. So that's just part of business as part and parcel. If you have a business, you're going to want to get certain margins for your products as well. So, um, you know, I can I can understand. I don't like it, but it is what it is. There is a breakdown in the article as well of of what that increase is. Mm. Um, I get I get ultimate for myself, and I've got just the standard on the other Xbox. Um, but it is a shame, and I think it was your tweet, Red. I don't want to see your thumb, thunder, but it's like, why didn't they do this at the same time as as launching the family plan uh, out to other countries? Because there's only a handful of countries that have the family plan, and New Zealand's one of them. Yeah. Um, and they should have tried to time it better, where yeah, you're getting an increase, but it's kind of hidden by the fact that the family plan doesn't and it officially you know, have but, a price increase. By the way, it doesn't. Nope. Um, no, at the moment, so, it wasn't mentioned in the article mm. at all. So at this point, they've only said it's Game Pass Ultimate. Game Pass for PC is not being impacted at all. That's staying the same price. Um, and then Which sucks. They haven't said anything about family plan, but I think that's because it's still in preview in a lot of countries, Like, um, and there's not. But like, if you're doing that, I know you're... Um, if you're going to increase the price of Game Pass Ultimate, why don't you market the hell out of Game Pass Family? and go like we're not increasing price here you pay this fee for five accounts or whatever it is everyone gets on it and then you just split the f bill that way yeah what why are pc uh gamers avoid because having... they've got massive growth in that market at the moment so they want to keep that growth um yeah. they want to keep that trajectory i think 
Yeah, and they know yeah, console really gamers. Right. Whoever's whoever's got a console is a staunch console gamer, um, yeah. and will just suck it up, I guess. I mean, it's the just, price is yeah. increase isn't bad. It's not horrific. Um, and to those who are trying to go like the sky is falling, not really. No, I think yeah. I think we all knew it was inevitable. Um, I mean, like. I am so disappointed, though, that the consoles are going up. I didn't care about the subscription going up. I wanted them to keep the consoles at the same price because of the economic um, turmoil the rest of the world is in. I know that that will be impacting Microsoft and Xbox's bottom line um, because they'll be taking losses on the consoles and they don't want to be taking as much as a loss or whatever it is. Um, But just look at what's happening around the world. People are struggling to afford luxuries. Um... And they like people don't go out as much, so you know, being able to play games in your household if you can't go out is kind of a nice reprieve. Um, that's my biggest issue with this. I didn't care about the Game Pass subscription price going up. Everything's going up. New Zealand has just like a week, two weeks ago, whatever, confirmed that we're in a recession. Um, so we're officially in recession that in my country. And so like to hear that, and then to see that they're putting the console prices up. Like the cost to entry is minimal if you keep, if you allow Game Pass to be there. Don't increase the console price, just Game Pass is what you want them on. That way it's still affordable for everyone. Even Game Pass for family, really push that out. The marketing in that space needs to be improved. But I'm just pissed off about the um, console price increase. And I was, I'm going to keep that same energy. I was annoyed when PlayStation did it. I felt like it was a stupid uh, anti-consumer move and it was really tone deaf around what was happening around the world. And I know that these companies do need to try and stay solvent, but like that isn't going to be the make or break moment for you. The software sales is where you're going to get it. Your subscription um, services is where you're going to make your profit margins and so on and so forth and keep people engaged. And that's where it should have stayed. Absolutely. Epic, do you have anything else you want to add? No, I'm very curious. How much are games in, in New Zealand? Like, um, just like, a, like a standard like copy? A, yeah, yeah. If yeah. I look at the price digitally. increase, oh, digitally, um, don't even ask me what digitally, they range from like $120 and depending on the version up to sometimes $200 like versions. But oh. like the standard price is like $120, $130. About, yeah, yeah, like maybe twenty dollars more than ours or something like that. But do you um do you buy physical copies because of cheaper? Uh, because it's a lot um, cheaper. Yeah. No, I still buy digital unless there's a game that I go. I always go into EB Games and have a look at what their their secondhand ones are. But like I buy digital because I game share with my sister, so we just go. Oh, yeah. We That's pay for half of the game each, so it doesn't impact yeah. us as much. Um, but yeah. it's still expensive. Yeah. Yeah. Because if I buy if, if over here if we buy a physical copy then. It's usually cheaper. You know, our, our price, yeah, like a hundred dollars for digital, and then you've got like uh, JB Hi-Fi and then EB Games, and um, they all might be like eighty, like seventy nine dollars, eighty nine dollars. The warehouse um, is usually our cheap one for physical. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So, and I do that usually with PlayStation um, oh, games. Yeah, um, go in and get the physical. Usually, I would. Yeah, yeah. yeah I would do that yeah. with them because, like, at least with like xbox on the game pass side you know that the first party are coming day one so you don't Mm. really have to worry about buying the game right off the bat yeah um which is the nice thing about it but yeah for playstation yeah you definitely won't be wanting to buy physical because i do the same if i've got like with really hard nintendo games because they never go on sale (laughs) Mm, that's right i still pick up digital games because i can use uh afterpay at eb games oh, so yeah. i'm smart. i'm only paying you know 25 bucks a, a fortnight that's for smart. the game yeah. um and 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 that's a question i put out on twitter actually i was like well when's xbox uh gonna start allowing stuff like zip pay and afterpay mm. um on the console that's really smart yeah right and then I'd, I'd i'd buy more games honestly i'd buy yeah. more uh because it would be that that ease Ooh, of use thing, isn't and, it? And it could be dangerous Yes, oh God. I don't know if I want to go down that rabbit hole in my mind. Jeez, that, <laughs> that, that's really smart. I don't know why they've not so done that. Astra, it when could are you be joining an... Xbox um, to let them know about this great idea that you've got? I, I already tweeted at them last week, so if I can find that, I'll retweet it. But, yeah, 
they're not going to respond. No. One, one but it would be cool. Get it done. Well, they've kind, of, <laughs> they've kind of got a model for that for the Series S and Series X with the, um, oh, what was the program they were doing where you could get the console and Game Pass for two years and you just paid it off in like monthly installments over the two-year period. Was that an American thing though? No. It went yeah, worldwide. <clears throat> oh really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, I know what you're talking about, but I, I I'm not sure what That's it's called. That's how my best friend got his console. Um, he got two years of Game Pass with it as well. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. Look, whatever that was, same difference, I guess. Because uh, that that's um, it, it it would make it a lot easier for for us to be able to buy games, especially day one. Well, why don't they and just be able to sort of pay it off over go, a month or whatever. Hey, we've, oh, I know we've increased the prices here and here, but if you follow this program, which allows you to pay it off in installments, you won't notice the price increase that much. And it's a lot more feasible. They really need to be smart with them, like getting ahead of the story or just kind of coming up with options or solutions that seem like solutions to people. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, look, like I said, it would be it would be a little dangerous because you'd be like, ah, I'll just I'll just buy this game, I'll just buy that game because it's only taking out you know twenty bucks a, a fortnight type of thing. But I mean, I mean at like the end the of the day, you're still using so. yeah, well, you're still using your own money in that, so it's just it's just a, doing it over it's a the time. So pay to own one, so you pay it off in installments until you own it. <laughs> Higher purchase. Yeah. Jedi, Jedi, like Peter said, you really don't like after pay. He also said you're a loser, Astro. So. Well, he's not um, wrong. Yeah. I yeah. mean, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, moving on. <laughs> um, great question. Um, can I ask Elite why Jedi Knight Peter is not a mod yet? Just want to point oh. that out. Like, sort it, Pete. What's, I mean, uh, sorry, sort it, Elite. We're sorting it for you, Pete. Ah, damn it. I can't even bring use my brain this morning. Well, it's... It's probably because he only wants one Aussie to be, and that's me, to yeah. be a mod. Yeah. yeah like one per true. country. You think Afterpay yeah. is ped predatory? I think, uh, I don't know. I think most things are, to be honest. <laughs> I think they Like know. Elite. Yeah. He's, with his, with a, um, Elite's pillow <laughs> business, yeah, he's definitely predatory. Yeah. He keeps trying to go. convince me to, like, buy one off him, and he's been trying to send me free samples, and I just. You know, all the Aussies. Man. I give them. I, the I, I, I take them to like um, <laughs> hospice <laughs> places and give them give them the pillows for free. Yeah, someone needs it. Yeah, I don't think Epic knows about your fetish about me. Uh, Ooh, Epic, uh, <laughs> sorry. Red's Red's got a life size pillow of me. It's like a life size pillow. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just, How it's likely do you believe this Epic? It's, 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 <laughs> <laughs> it's got my image on it. It's got my I image on it. And, yeah, and she spoons it at night. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Oh, yeah. gosh. Yeah. yeah. Basically, <laughs> I have a massive, a like, like, massive sledgehammer-sized spoon, and I just cave the pillow in every, every night. Oh, it's like a, it's like a <laughs> life, <laughs> life-size yeah. voodoo doll. Yeah. You could, yeah, yeah. dab yeah. some pins in it and things. But exactly, I do, doll. and I send photos to them. <laughs> Smack them in the face? Yeah. I make him drink out of the I'm toilet. Sure. Yep. <laughs> before, <laughs> before or I, I won't go there. Oh, anyone, okay. anyone looking in would see you standing over the toilet pushing a pillow down it and going, drink, drink. Well, once I let them know that it's you, they, they join in. <laughs> They're like, I'll you know, help. The the car. <laughs> so, oh, God. It becomes a freeway. Oh, God. All right. Anyone else got anything else they want to say about the uh, game <gasps> price hike and the console hi price hike? Just just why? Yeah. Yeah. Disappointed about the... Not, not too fussed about Game Pass, but disappointed by the consoles actually going up in price. I think that is a bit odd, but yeah. It's mm -hmm. just stupid. Don't do that, Xbox. Hear me. Too, too late. Well, don't I, say yeah. Or well, don't say that. Oh, don't worry. We keep the prices the same and then change it. You know, well, they, not yeah, that yeah. long after. That's I mean, bit, they announced yeah, it in yeah. October that they said that we were probably going to see changes in that space, right? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. But, but a, week, a week ago, they said they weren't going to put any prices up. Oh yeah. And they did. True. Yeah. So they 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 have no choice, I think, so, with what's I'll, happening I'll, with the ABK yeah, deal. I think I'll, it had to. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. I wonder if things happened along the line in the past week that's pushed their hand that they've had to do it. Yeah, pass the costs on. Yeah. Mm. 
Um, uh, so anyway, next topic. Grey Monad is asking us to ban Pete. <laughs> <laughs> That's because Pete's like, I have the power. Yes, he man, you do. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> like, that's like you make off him. <laughs> right. Sony says it would withhold. Right, the next topic, everybody. Pay attention. Double seven. Sony says it would withhold. <laughs> Sony says it would withhold PlayStation. <laughs> yeah, just let him get through the sentence. <laughs> <laughs> Sony says it would withhold PlayStation. I can still hear you laughing. PlayStation Six information from Activision. <laughs> He's muted himself now. Right, uh, PlayStation Six information from Activision. If the Microsoft deal goes through, so let me just repeat that. Sony wants to withhold COD from PlayStation Six if the deal goes through. Um, what do you guys think about that? This is on the back of previously. I haven't finished talking, Ashtray. Keep well, it quiet. Why the fuck do you ask a question and continue talking? I'm, yes. I'll put a question mark at the end of my question when I finish the question. How much have you had to drink tonight, Ali? <laughs> what even oh, is a question? Candy Rooney. I've had a schooner. I've had a schooner. <clears throat> no, uh, no, I was just going to say, oh, I've got what I was going to say now. It was only a couple of weeks ago that Jim was complaining to Microsoft and the FTC that they're planning to block this game from PlayStation, that it's anti-consumer, and that they're looking to block it from PlayStation 6. Now he's come out and said they're actively going to block it from PlayStation 6 if the deal goes through. So I'm confused if Jim's on drugs, or if he's got some form of split personality or something, or he's just a uh, lying Jim Ryan. Uh, Epic, what's your opinion on this? I know you're eager to leap on this. Oh, I, th I think this is either Ashtray's or Red's realm, not mine. For oh, sure. okay. Go on, Ashtray. Yeah. yeah. Go on, yeah, I know you're I don't, I don't want to. Let's go to, yeah. let's go to Red first. Let's go to Red first. Why me, guys? Is that because I'll talk and you guys can sit there and do nothing? <laughs> <laughs> she, she figured it out yeah. after all this I time. Gonna, I was going to get another drink and go for dinner. <laughs> uh, oh. I, I just want to start off by saying this is kind of like uh, the the bully or the you know the the rich kid who you know isn't having fun, so he takes his ball and goes home, kind of thing. That's kind of what he's doing, right? He's like, well, you know, if you guys are going to be like this, we're not going to share information. It's like, come on, man, it's like a, seriously, it's a, it's a child's tantrum. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what it seems what it like, is. right? Hey, someone, no one's changed Jim Ryan's diaper in a while, so he's a bit upset and he's lashing <laughs> out. He's got nappy rash. Yeah. Honestly, I, I, like, if you saw me on Twitter and I saw this comment and then I just laughed out loud and I was in a public space and everyone's just staring at me. One of my work colleagues comes over and like, what were you laughing at? And I was like, I can't tell them because they won't find it funny. <laughs> Um, I just couldn't believe. I just pissed myself laughing. It was hilarious that this is actually a thing. Like, to say, like, good product, exactly like a child tantrum to go, hey, um, I want the product that you've got. And then they offer them that product and they're like, I don't really want it. Also, not only do I not want it, I never wanted it. Like, it just feels so ridiculous in, in what's happening at the moment. So if this ABK deal goes through you've already been promised that the game's going to stay on your platform and which is in stark contrast of like that email that came out that jim ryan said to another previous CEO, ceo that they had no concerns about um this not coming to playstation so if they weren't concerned about cod not coming to playstation they're basically just shooting themselves in the foot and not even looking after their own fan base or their consumer base in the sense of they were kept touting and worrying about the whole um oh my god we've lost my train of thought because i'm just so involved with it but they were worrying well, about um xbox not allowing parody in the sense of i guess degrading the version on playstation and that wouldn't be looking after their consumer base and that's where they're looking at it from like they want to make sure that they've got their um looking after their cod uh, player base on the playstation side it's like well you just prove that you don't actually care about your cod player base and the money that you get from that if you're willing to go haha no playstation 6 version because you now own the ip and we don't want you having access to the dev kits 
But um, red, they have to they have to have access to the dev kits because no, they already gonna, make. There's going to be no PlayStation Six version. What? Why do they need access to the dev kits if Sony doesn't want a PlayStation Six version? So in right there, uh, Jim's saying that we don't want the game. Then yeah, that's basically, what he's saying. Right? That's exactly what he's saying. <laughs> Because they, I mean, look, Xbox gets dev, dev kits and vice versa for the games like Minecraft and that. So they, they've always shared that information. They've had to, especially since Xbox was buying third party games. Mojang, for instance. Uh, yeah, exactly, right? So this is just like, I don't, think the show. Thought, I don't think he thought this through, though. Nope. Because he is essentially saying, well, if we're, we're, we're going to withhold PS6 information, which means that then. Xbox and Bethesda and Activision can't then make games for their console. So there's not going to be a version because you won't allow us access to that information. So that means Xbox gamers do get the definitive version of COD. And PlayStation was right in the sense of their players' base is going to be impacted by it. But PlayStation is the one doing the impact. So Jim, Why Jim's are they not the calling this out, guys? It. Why are their fan base not calling this out and going... Get lost, Jim Ryan. We want COD and we want it to be on PlayStation. Yeah, like exactly. They're doing the opposite though. That's what that in fact the fan base were crying, like Jim was, saying that they're taking a, a game that, that was multiplayer and gonna make it exclusive and Xbox shouldn't be able to do that. Now Jim's actively trying to make this game exclusive to Xbox. <laughs> yeah. And, and, the, and the PlayStation fans are supporting Crazy. it. They're saying, Yeah, so we should do. Yeah, we don't want to give our information to Xbox. And it's like what the Mojang, fuck are you talking about? Like I mean, you've yeah. got to understand, like... Oh, oh no, MLB. MLB, MLB yeah. Xbox oh, gives that information. PlayStation game. It's on Xbox. Do you think they're worried because <laughs> at every instance in the last two iterations of the Xboxes, they have outdone PlayStation in the performance aspects around the um, specs, do you reckon? That's their concern? Uh, they haven't got a got you moment on, place, on Xbox over it. They had the, the PS4 Pro with the 4.2 and they didn't announced that when it was meant to be announced because Xbox came out and showed the series, oh, the One X, um, with what they were wanting to do with that that system. Six six teraflops versus 4.2. And, yeah, who knows? Yeah, I'm not sure about that, but, look, yeah, they're going to have so to share. It's, 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 a baseless, it's a baseless comment, in my opinion, because th- th- they would just... It just doesn't make any sense. It going, really does. He's not going to do it. Cod's going to stay nah. on PlayStation. Jim Ryan is just lashing out like a child having a tantrum. Like I said, yeah. Whew. Herman Holst changes nappy, please. They should have to the courts and they got to see this, haven't they? Jim saying, "No, we we're not going to put it on PlayStation 6. After all, they're in court now complaining about Xbox making these games exclusive, and then there's Jim saying, "We don't want their games. We don't want this game." Sure, that's going to impact the whole case. Surely you would think so, but you're right. Yeah. Why isn't why isn't anyone in the media calling this out in terms of no. of the effect that it would have? It's more anti-consumer yeah, than the ABK deal ever was going to be. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, Cause, yeah it's be- affecting their player base directly. Yeah, I would be if I was a COD player on PlayStation. I'd be like, why the hell are you threatening to not put not allow this game to show up on the PlayStation yeah. Six? Like, yeah, if they really want game. to kind of shoot themselves in the foot around people choosing to play on PC and Xbox over PlayStation, would the casual market do this? Just do it, Jim. See what happens. I dare you. Yeah. I'll go ahead and find out. Yeah. <laughs> Let's up, play Umbra? chicken. <laughs> I'm going to chat. I'm going to chat. He deleted his message because he said rude stuff. Uh, he said elite, elite was cool, elite. and I told him to delete it. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it's not true. Damn. False. Well, only when he's in a freezer and we've locked it with a padlock will he be cool. <laughs> It'll be just as dense, though. <laughs> All right. Um, I've got about I've got about ten minutes before I got to bounce. So. Oh. I want to hear Epic's opinion. Epic, have you yes. got anything to say? On the, on the top? Red has covered it entirely. I thought that was great. <laughs> Finally. Oh, so I didn't have any input. Thanks. Sorry, he, and you did. Yeah. Thank you, much. thank you, Epic, for backing backing me. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Shall we? So, will we jump on to the next topic? Then the extra topic, 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 topic. Uh, the uh, last topic. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. It's open. Okay. We've got several more topics there, but we'll just finish on this one. But Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella 
and many Xbox executives are set to defend its FTC case. Lots of Microsoft executives are due to take the witness stand for this week in the big court case against the FTC. So everyone's aware this is going on right now, and it's been hilarious. Day one just to occur, uh, yeah. Yeah, one person that didn't show up was Jim Ryan. He, mm. he just just thought he would just make a, a rec- pre-recorded video of himself speaking. That's because his nose that works was going to grow in person if he showed up. Well, so someone said that it's because then if he lies, it, it, I don't think it's as liable in court because it's not live. So I don't think he can be caught because it's pre-recorded, isn't it? So he was still cross-examined apparently. Um, so they kind of just did it. Well, oh, really? they had lawyers still ask him stuff, questions. Yeah, yeah. it was. It was just he didn't come in person. Yeah. It's still, coward. it's it's a bit of a coward thing. Yeah. It is a very cowardly. It's been it's interesting, though, hasn't it? Probably because he was like, I, I can't keep my composure in person over there. <laughs> I can't lie in front of actual real people. What's been interesting is the questions from the lawyers on yeah. the side of the FTC have just been random and baseless yeah. and just... Really grasping. Yeah. yeah, like to asking about console wars and asking about you know controllers and stuff it's just it's just been a weird line of questioning and they just don't really sort of seem like they're organized which is in uh you know it's a positive thing for us xbox gets there i say us <laughs> for xbox because they get there and they're all organized and their line of questioning is and the, well, their responses to the line of questioning are just spot on on point give a little bit of information but not too much but answer it correctly and um i, th- I think they're just steamrolling it at the moment and i don't know how many days is this going for because this is they've actually just gone through their second or going through their second day um sure. as we speak so I'm not sure how many days it goes for um it's, because it's the stuff leading into it right it's all the preliminary stuff so i'm not sure how many days this is meant to it might not even pass this then mm. Because this is where they decide whether it's got to go to full court, right? Um, is that what you're saying? When it's preliminary, preliminary, it's still got to go to court. But that might, if they judge sides with this and pushes it and makes them go to court earlier, that could be a thing that comes out of this. It might pull forward the FTC's timeline because they aren't planning to go to court to August, right? From memory, oh, ah, yeah, it yeah. might bring it forward, um, and then they have to go in and address it right away. But the concern here is that. <clears throat> the FTC is just going to kind of just bury them in paperwork and consistently just try and drag it out for years. And hopefully, hopefully that isn't the case um, because then the deal's probably dead in the water. Mm. Yeah. But so... let's talk about some interesting news that came out of it, guys. We already talked about Indiana Jones being yeah. exclusive. This came out, confirmation that um, Microsoft renegotiated the deal and made the um, made Indiana Jones IP exclusive to Xbox and PC and such, so there's no longer going to be a PlayStation variant. But Sarah Bond, man, how good was she? She was like yeah. top notch. Like I, th- you definitely feel like she's being set up to replace Phil when Phil goes, right? Yeah, uh, but, you never know. I know, but I feel like she would be amazing. At it. She's pretty switched on, and she's uh, very clever, um, very educated. Yeah. yeah, she knows what she's doing. And, it's, and Destin's been posting that recently, and he posted a Twitter about when she shot that Lena down because Lena was questioning about the cloud, saying it's locked behind a Steam key, didn't uh, behind a Windows key, didn't she? And she replied back, uh, "No, <laughs> it's not." <laughs> and then Lena was like, "Oh." It's almost as if they've done no homework whatsoever. They know nothing about what they're talking about. And I'm surprised it's even got to this stage. Because <laughs> they just they're just throwing things at Xbox and Xbox is just like debunking it or shooting it down. And right, next question, next question is like it's it's really like they're really bad at their job. Well, Matt... And I'm surprised they're in charge of sort of what they do. Matt... And I'm surprised they've not been just shut down already, closed down. Matt Booty sent out an email that got brought up around this, around context, in which he was saying, like, they need to pull all Microsoft games off NVIDIA and such. Um, And that looked quite damning, right? And then once you hear the additional context behind why Matt Booty sent it and why he was so frustrated, it's 
becomes like a nothing burger in my opinion around that like the reason why he was saying like we need to pull these games off nvidia geforce now and such the cloud streaming service was because after the bethesda deal um went through was mainly because nvidia had been putting xbox titles on that platform without permission from microsoft xbox itself and so you can understand why like matt booty was upset and going like we need to pull these because they'd been I guess, un- like illegally inflating the offerings in their service by putting up games that they weren't meant to have on there in the first place because there was no agreement between Microsoft and, and, and NVIDIA about them doing this. So I'm just like, it's quite interesting what's been going on and now you can see that NVIDIA and Microsoft have now come to an agreement, which is why I guess NVIDIA was probably against the deal in the first place and then now is for the devil deal for the devil <laughs> for the deal um yeah very interesting anyone yeah. else i've got lots um, to say on this topic but anything else yeah anyone else want to jump in and talk about that my realm ever um i let i let all the the bright savants keep up with that but it just goes on and on so i just like I'll let, you yeah. <laughs> I'll let you do it let you do with that elite yep oh, how long has that straight got uh, about six, six minutes. minutes. Right, let's just go for six, for five minutes then. I can talk for five minutes. Okay. <laughs> You've got five minutes, Red. Go. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Ashtray. Everything that's happened down in five that's, minutes. That's not very nice. Ashtray, jump in and yeah. say what you want to say before you have to disappear. Yeah, uh, look, it's, um, yeah, I don't think they're getting anywhere with it. They've even stopped a line of questioning to Phil Spencer um, and the judge just stopped the mid question because they were sick and tired of what they were asking and just let, let, uh, let's Phil leave the stand. So, um, you know, I think the judge is fully aware of where they're at in terms of, you know, how organized the FTC is, how strong, or in this case, how weak their case is, um, how well, I mean, look, Microsoft, Xbox, Microsoft, they, they've, they're a big company. They've done a lot of acquisitions. They've done a lot of court proceedings, you know, through the years they've, they've, very organized and they know what they're doing so although it's it's uh part of them part part and parcel of the process it's a bit of a formality i don't think that they're that worried about it all um and i think they're just doing what they have to do uh to appease the courts and make sure that everything uh that they've got i mean all the information is there for them to see it's all open book stuff so They've got nothing to hide and they're confident and that shows, you know, reading through all the different tweets from all the different guys that are, that are covering it just to get those snapshots um, instead of sitting through it all does show you that there's definitely, um, you know, a, a, a different balance there. And, and Xbox uh, is is really just so strong and firm with what they're doing is I, I can't see the judge being um, blind or you know, ill-equipped to make a proper call on this. Well, I just... And I don't think the FTC really have anything, like we've always said from the mm. beginning anyway. Mm. I mean, I still think it's awful and, I mean, not awful. It's just interesting that the FTC is like, we're all about competition and looking after the consumers. And you're like, so why are we not going after what PlayStation's been doing? I mean, PlayStation's getting investigated anyway, but this, this content that's going to come out of this is probably going to make it easier for them to go after some of PlayStation's anti-competitive behaviour and how they've been uh, artificially um, uh, dealing, like, and I guess artificially manipulating the market, in a sense, around competition when it comes to and, consoles. And, yeah, and I think that that investigation's going to go on for many, many years. I don't think it's going to be a flash in the pan. I think that they're going to be looked at because uh, they've, they've got a lot of history to look through. Yeah. Um, and basically, I, I think it's been known in the industry. I just think it hasn't been talked about. But now that all of this has come to light and the fact that at the very beginning, PlayStation was pushing this to stop it and, you know, Jim Ryan was really waving his arms around causing a fuss that it's put the eyes back on, mm. on them. And, and that's why Japan and China and that, they, they approved uh, the deal with no concessions because they just want don't, nothing to see here, don't look at us, but it's too late. Um, but to your point, Red, it's like why, why is the FTC trying to stop two American companies merging to then go up against a foreign company, which is, which is Sony and PlayStation? Yeah. 
which is dominating, which is in first place, which is making the most amount of money. Um, it it doesn't. I I don't know why that question's not being well, asked. Why is it's Xbox like, not allowed to compete in the same way that PlayStation's been competing? And I think that's the stigma of Microsoft being in the background. Yeah. Because Microsoft is such a big company, the or the bank, biggest yeah. company, and yeah, yeah. So it's all tied together. So I think they get lumped in with that, which you can kind of understand. Yeah, I but understand at that. the same time. You know, it's it, this is this is a department. This is a pillar of the Microsoft brand that that isn't in first place. That isn't making uh, the same sort of money, and uh, you know needs to have have that opportunity to to grow and and give customers what they want, which is content. Yeah, content you is know? king. We've heard it a thousand times from PlayStation gamers. They wanted them to compete. Now they don't want them to compete as hard, and now they don't want this deal to go through at all. But you know, I kind of w- hope this deal goes through in the sense of I really want to see if Jim Ryan will really not allow Activision to have details about the PlayStation Six to, in order to make that version of the game. Um, but That'd be crazy. Just remind everyone where you, where they can find you before you have to head out, um, Ashtray, because I know you've got like heading out like now. Yeah, yeah. So I've got to go. So, guys, it's always a pleasure every Saturday morning to join uh, Red and Elite, uh, and we usually have a guest or two and during. I in this said it was a pleasure in the same statement as my name and Elite's name. Well, Revise I that. thought about it, right? Yeah. And more of a pleasure. I thought. <laughs> Sorry. I look. He's probably going to get upset. He'll probably, you know, the show will end, and he'll probably have a cry. Mm. And oh, you're protecting then... Elite's. Fi- oh, that's nice of you. Yeah, kind of, you know. He's he 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 likes to talk shit and have fun, but I think he's he's a little upset that um uh you know, we pick on him so much. So yeah. I thought I'd try and be nice That's for why he once. He drinks so much, yeah. Um I don't know if he believed it or not, but it sounded pretty good from my, <laughs> my point of view. Anyway, continue. Sorry to cut you off, Andrew. <laughs> anyway, well, you always do, but that's fine. Um, yeah, you can find me on Twitter, Xbox, um, and other social media platforms under Ashtray Gaming. It's T-R-E-Y. I'm here almost every Saturday, uh, and I'll be back next week. So thanks for having me. Epic Treasure, thanks for guesting this week uh, mm-hmm. with us. And, um, yeah, it was really good to, to be here with you guys. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thanks for having you, Shazwaza. No worries, mate. I'll catch you guys later. Bye. Thank you very much. Now you can't Don't forget to hit that tray. So Elite's going to go ham. I'm going to be listening to this in the car anyway. <laughs> yeah. Hit that like button. Share it out. Yeah. Yep. Share it out, guys. Thanks a lot. See you next week. Bye. 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 All right. Okay. Vanishes. I know. Just like a <laughs> candle in the wind. Daddy. <laughs> Daddy's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Elite. He, he, miss, he misses me. Said he felt like a gooseberry. Mm. Bless him. Yeah. Anyway. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Elite. What are you, what are your thoughts on what went down on day one? Because I added a second link into our chat, which has more details about it. But um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I, I think I've already sort of covered it. I think it's just it just seems to be a big mass mess, and I'm surprised FTC are just given the clout they're given, especially after the. I think I've done a video on ages ago, which was the, um, who was it? It was the, uh, what they called American saying rather those sort of court here. It wasn't really a court, but where they just went at the FTC anyway and sort of destroyed Lena and questioning her motives and why she's so in support of sort of Japanese and European companies over American companies. And, and, mm. and, and about, they went, went through her whole management, didn't they? She've had loads of complaints against other people have left because, uh, People have accused her of being sort of just a, a bad manager, a horrible person, uh, manipulative. Um, so I'm surprised she's they're even still going. I'm surprised she's even there and they're even still going. Let alone just holding this this going on now against Microsoft, which is a massive company in America. Lena Khan, yeah. Does, does, does really well for them. I'm surprised Lena's uh, given the privilege that she's given. Mm. And, you know, you, and, and this, this, at the stage they in, the audience they have... And the money and the power they have, you'd think they would do better with this. You'd think they would have sort of come out with something. But it just seems like they've got nothing and they're just they're just doing this just to delay it for whatever reason. Obviously we it's just a weird it is a weird bias for Sony. You can't ignore that. Because yeah. I can't see why you would do this and put yourself through this. And I don't think they think they can win. I don't think they know they're gonna win, because you would not win with this. Mm. There, there, there's nothing any lawyer with, his, with their information would not 
take this case. If this was a case, you would not go, yeah, I'll take this case. The information you've got against Microsoft, you just wouldn't. But they're going for it, and they're just, it's just, it's just a mess. Yeah, well... And they're just... Yeah, go on, sorry. I was just going to say, just to be a bit more specific about what happened on one of the days, and if you haven't read it, I'll go through it. Like, oh, yeah, there's a section there's where um, Sarah Bond is talking about um, Call of Duty in particular around revenue deals, and she revealed yeah. that Microsoft was forced to agree to a new uh, revenue sharing deal with Activision to get Call of Duty um, optimized for the launch of the Xbox Series X and S consoles. So basically, yeah. they were holding back um, allowing a Series X and Series S version of Call of Duty until they had agreed to a new revenue deal in the sense of they weren't even going to, um, what was it, Bobby Kotick, who was Activision's what CEO, wanted Microsoft to agree to that new revenue share deal before they even begun work on those versions. They didn't even want to touch the dev kits until yeah. they had a new deal negotiated. And there was hinting at potentially the reason for this being uh, because of PlayStation and their revenue deal. And then um, it was very interesting. And it was like they made it very clear that the game Call of Duty would be on the PlayStation 5 at launch. And yeah. it wouldn't have been a good thing if it was not also on on Xbox at launch. And so they were just really worried about getting a Xbox optimized version at the same time the PS5 launched the version for the PS5. And it also makes me think like the PS5 version seemed to perform better than the Xbox Series X version. Um Maybe because it might have had a little bit more development time because of this. And I think there's some underhanded play going on around that um, with some of the way they, d some of the dealings these third parties do and such. Um, but I also feel like partly PlayStation had worked very closely with Activision around making sure that they uh, took advantage of the the haptic triggers in the in the dual sense controller and such so maybe that's the reason why we're seeing a 9.2 teraflop system sometimes perform on par with a 12 teraflop system and i know teraflops aren't the best way to look at it but math is math and you know 12 is still a larger number than 9 as a fact and you can't ignore that but this this fact that that was they were kind of being sort of I guess pigeonholed into the renegotiation of this meant that if they wanted to make sure that their consumers had access to the game, they had no choice. So yeah, what are you guys' thoughts on this? What is everyone's thoughts uh, on this? Treasure, do you have any thoughts on that? Yeah. yeah. Uh no, I've I've been staying away from this. This is like not my not your forte. My no, no. Fair it's, enough. It's, it's like a full time thing. I, I'm sure that I know that everybody's been constantly watching this and i just go i've only been watching bits and pieces like i've yeah. just stepped back but this bit came forward yeah. and i was like oh this is quite interesting um but yeah elite what are your thoughts on uh sarah bond's ter testimony about um call of duty yeah, and so, revenue yeah so, so sony sony could have possibly paid for parity which that's what it sort of comes across as or they've they've been we know this is happening they're paying for special privileges and stuff which is once again, it comes back to this is exactly. We, I think this has come out a while back, didn't we? And everyone accused them of doing it when they first originally came out and said, um, Microsoft, if they would get the deal, they will pay for parity and and get a better version of the game and not give it to PlayStation. Do you remember that he made that big speech about that, crying about that? Yeah. And people were going, going, saying things like, why would you say that unless you are actually paying for parity for your side and you don't want the, those roles to switch? And this seems to be coming out now. It's sort of he, he probably was doing that, and now he knows. He knows sort of the, the benefits that gives, and he doesn't want to lose that benefit. He doesn't want to lose that edge over mm. Xbox, and I think that's his main concern now. And now he's going down the route with the whole, the old threat. Well, if you don't give us a better version, then you, our game, your you know, your game, will no longer be on PS6. Like that's what? some sort of form of threat. I don't know what where he's are... going with that. It was interesting because this it also came out that they wanted Microsoft to bid on the marketing rights, and then Microsoft said, "No, we're not yeah. going to bid on it." And then, as a result, uh, they couldn't market Call of Duty on their system whatsoever, other than yeah. like the game is coming to that. But like that's why PlayStation's marketing was so heavy, and why everyone was like, "Oh, you have to go play it on X on PlayStation's," because there was no marketing from Xbox as a result of some of this 
these things happening and I think that's just I can't wait to get rid of Bobby Kotick out of there um, and hopefully yeah. as a result some He's of these pra- the practices grieving. that these companies are, are doing to yeah. boost their revenue streams isn't going to be impacting the consumer in a negative light where they choose to play the games and it kind of just makes it more obvious as to why the player base was so skewed in the PlayStation favour for um, Call of Duty in that respect because of that marketing. We know Square Enix is doing exactly the same thing as well, aren't they, more or less? Yeah, they are. They're, they're being, they've been paid by Sony to... Even I am still get PlayStation fans say that these these developers are choosing Sony. They're, they're not being paid extra money. They're just choosing to they're put the games They're getting better deals. PlayStation. Yeah. yeah. They're, 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 they're under some impression that Sony's not giving them money. They're, they're just choosing Sony because they sell more copies or some something nonsense. But surely as a developer, you want as many people to play your game, as many people to buy your game as possible. Yeah. The only thing that would sway you from doing that is if someone give you a lump of money and said, here, don't put it on the other console. That's the mm. only reason. I can't I can't think of any logical reason why you just block an entire platform mm. out. Or, you know, in, or in this case, two massive platforms. They've blocked out Xbox and PC. You know, at the minimum, you'd put your games on PC, but they're not even doing that. They're going to so, wait. The exclusivity deal uh, disappears after six months, at least for the PC exclusivity deal um, around yeah. it. But then the guy for that, for like Final Fantasy 16, said, you're not going to see that game come out in six months on the PC because obviously they have to then work on it and, um, and it won't be ready in time by the time the um, exclusivity yeah. deal lapses. Yeah. Yeah. So Sony's paid that. Yeah. I don't think that's a choice Square Enix would have just made on their own. Nope. There's, 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 there's sell less copies. <laughs> they, they, Sony would have said, look, do not put it on these. Give oh. us this, this revenue. Here's some money. What, what, that's what's happening. What I also found interesting is one of the people that they had in the FTC, um, in this preliminary hearing and such, was um, they had someone who came out and said previously, I think 2018, 2019, something a few years ago, sort of say, or it might have even been closer, um, talking about how um, exclusives are good for the industry a sense around like even for consoles because they drive innovation and, and they drive competition and so on and so forth and then this person came back and was like actually exclusives are bad for the industry and it's like which is it because like that was Colin Moriarty actually uh was it Colin no I'm um, no yeah. I was thought this was actually at this hearing so we'll talk about it oh oh sorry oh well, Colin Moriarty did the exact same thing didn't he he, yeah, he yeah. Colin talked did about exclusives. I wouldn't, I yeah, wouldn't call back. Colin an industry expert because he's clearly nah. skewed. Um, but yeah. yeah. Anyway, anything else we want to talk about before we head out? Because I know that everyone's kind of sick of the ABK news and and such. Yeah. Um, but yeah. What about the? Did you hear that? Like some PlayStation Fives were overheating from the Final Fantasy Sixteen demo. I yeah, did hear that. Yeah. Yeah. Sad yeah. to sad yeah. to see. Yeah, it was weird because, like, when I played the demo, because I've got the full bang, which I need to get into more. Um, but yeah, it was strange. Like, first of all, I'm I'm putting the vertical and horizontal sensitivity down because it just looked a bit wacky. Mm. Um, and then I had to switch it down, which was, and it didn't sort of occur in my brain that this is a problem so much um, until I started to see all these sort of complaints, you know. Um, and then I forgot how you know beautiful Final Fantasy should look. So there's like a a tutorial. Um, scene where um, the dude that you're fighting, it just looked like he was stuck, like a little cut out on the screen. So I had to switch it down to um, performance settings. And it was still like, and I don't get motion sick ever playing games. And this is the only sort of time that I have. And then I'm like... In performance mode. Damn, strange. that's bad. Yeah, in performance mode. Um, so I just... Yeah, but I'm, I I think it's probably one of the greatest demos I've played in a long, in a long, long time. time. It was I was I was bummed that I didn't have the camera on at the time when I was playing because I live streamed it, but um, it was in the morning and I don't ever you know have the camera on then. But it was just nonstop. It was crazy. But um, I didn't I didn't check the temperature of my my thing. But I th- I think that was just during a it was like a they said it was from a boss fight, didn't they? It was yeah. like a particular boss particular fight boss where. Fight. It, yeah, but I've had I've had a few things. It'll be uh, in interesting the past to know. Where, Sorry, go. Yeah. I was just going to say, there's only been a couple of times where I've had um, a console shut down, um, which was a 
time when I was playing Borderlands um, and it just it would just shut down because it just got too hot. But mm. um, it'll be interesting. So I'll be playing that and, and seeing if she does get a bit too hot. Well, and there must be a plug somewhere that's caused it. That's wild. There must be a yeah, yeah. firefight. Something, yeah. Something's happening. Um, mm. you know, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Final Fantasy boss fight actually happening on the... the the motherboard instead of on the TV screen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, just um, a question to I, Epic. How often do you use the blowy thing? Sorry, you know the blow thing on the controller? What? Yeah, yeah, yeah the, the, the blow, dual sense the blowy... gimmick yeah. feature on the controller where you the, blow into you it. You blow into it. Never. Ne- Have you ever never, used no. Yeah. No. What? Why would you give your, yeah. your controller head, guys? Why would you blow on how it? How many people do do that? Yeah. Only, only on, there you was know, like one you know, game that had it, I think. Um, yeah, sure. But what I was, I do not know what you're talking about. I thought you were talking about my fantasy, my fantasy invention that I had. That and I did actually make this thing where you would clip it onto your controller. Don't get any crazy ideas. Let me finish. Uh-oh. It was like a, you know, when you go ten pin bowling and um, they've got those hand blowers on the, you know, to cool oh, your to hand cool off. Your hands, so it's like, yeah. yeah, right. And so I thought, wouldn't that be nice to have a controller? Where you could just, you know, like put your put your fingers over the the little spot to have this little fan blowing thing to cool your fingers and some dude or woman made one of these that clicks literally onto your control it just blows yeah i don't know how the battery life of this thing but yeah that's that's what i thought you were talking about i'm like i don't i I i'm the only time i've wanted to do it i would uh back to the other side of it but i would be quite curious to see what skew or what version of the ps5 um did over overheat in that respect oh. because they've had so many different skews and um it would be interesting to know which which version was impacted just to kind of give people a heads up if they are worried i think that whole public service announcement like it's probably a one-off probably not going to happen that often but i think it's really important that with any type of hardware people are aware of things like oh, that could happen and then they know what the risks are um yeah there was like a, wasn't there a, a PlayStation model that came out after um, the first one? And the, the heat, I don't know, it was like a, they stopped the heat from getting too crazy. And it was like a cheaper model that it was coming out of Japan, I think. There were two places that it was coming out of. And so people were starting to check their, uh, which console they had. Um, because it was not made as, I think there's a couple of videos on YouTube, it was not made as well to handle the heat. Um, uh, the components got hotter because they reduced the size of the heat sink. Inside. That's the yeah. one? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I wonder if it would be those. I don't know how many of those were were made. Well, they've um, revised it quite a few. This is the fourth revision they've had or fifth revision, I don't know. Um, but, I mean, it's just a demo. It's good news that you can see Square hopefully realising that they have an issue and to fix whatever might be impacting that. Because we've run into issues where other games have kind of had issues at launch um, with with um, the PlayStation 5 being impacted. I think, what was it? Um, oh, what's the yeah, one? Where you, Returnal? A... There were some issues around Returnal. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's been quite a few different issues ar- around that. So who knows? But... Even, yeah, even for Horizon for, for Bit of West, I think, Ed. Uh, issues especially with regards to popping and things like that but uh, not, really. uh, not so but much the hardware issues i think that was yeah yeah, yeah issues, whereas yeah. returnal had some oh, issues with the hardware yeah. so, like crashing the like it would crash oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. um yeah so who knows but was that was the overheating actually in the demo or the, the game game i think it was the demo from my understanding so oh, okay. hopefully well, a day one patch yeah. will have fixed any issues but they were not meant to do a day one patch right the oh they sure. did the day one yeah. patch didn't fix any of the performance issues no, I didn't. No, did you come out? Yeah. yeah, I finished the demo and I didn't have any like besides weird visual issues. Um, you know, like I played Horizon Forbidden West and that looked stunning to me. Like I was holy shit. Um, and now you know, comparing this to that is just like chalk and cheese. Yep. Um, but yeah, I played the finished the demo. Didn't have any you know overheating or anything like that. But it will be interesting to see if there's any issues with the whole full game, though. Mm. I'll, I'll keep I'll keep feeling the temperature of that and see what happens. Did you, did you say you bought the game, didn't you? Yeah, I've, I've not got yet. the game. I've yeah, got, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm Diabloing yeah. first to yeah. kind of yeah. clear that up. Yeah, that's what I'm so doing I'll, right I'll after the, this is I'm I'll doing s- some stuff and then I'm jumping on Diablo. 
Yeah. I was, I was told the first two hours of Final mm-hmm. Fantasy 16 is a cutscene. It's just sort of. Ah, uh, yeah. There yeah. was some people complaining about that while I was streaming, it, but I, I kind of. I, I don't mind it that much. Look, I play, when I played Death Stranding, I was I just felt like I was like a drunken delivery person. That's, you know, that was a bit different. That was a bit yeah. odd. Um, but I had a weird love-hate relationship with that game. Um, I didn't finish it, but I still, say. I don't mind all the cinematic stuff because it, you know, for me, I'm like no, I'm notorious for skipping cutscenes all the time. And then That's I never what know I what the fuck's going on in the story, you know? <laughs> it's like, oh, what happened? Somebody tell me. Um, but this, I, I, you know, I didn't feel the need to to do it. I just tried to get immersed. Mm. But, you know, I don't have a problem. It depends. I kind of expect that sometimes. But you know the weird part? Because the, the kid's voice, it's the same kid from um, Plague Tale, isn't it? You go from I Tale. was like, I was pretty sure, pretty sure. I heard, I heard his voice, and I'm like, I'm 100 percent sure that's the same voice yeah, from yeah, that. Yeah. And I think I mentioned it a couple of weeks ago yes, on the show. We it, yeah, yeah. And I think we were in a party chat, and I think, I think we spoke about this yes. before. Maybe. Oh, maybe. Yeah, I think but, that was it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we were talking about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it was, that was a weird thing with the demo. It's like it was this twilight zone crossover because in this in the demo the kids are around the same age you're protecting the kid then the kid's got these you know um magical powers <laughs> you can the rats you know like in your head if you play plague tale it's exactly it's like it's, <laughs> it's it yeah in the whole sort of store it's like well, i'm looking for these rats and stuff and it's just and then he, I, i'm not spoiling it because it's wow wow what happens um but that's so weird like yeah. i can't I, I don't understand why somebody didn't go hey maybe we should probably get somebody else for this because the same age same look of the kid same behavior protecting the kid kid superpower um it, it was it just fucked with my head a little bit hmm. um just because you know i played play tale so mm. but yeah that's that's what i got to say about that yeah. yeah. Elite, yeah, anything else before we head out for the day? No, no, I'm good. I've enjoyed it. You enjoyed the fun. me talking about pushing a pillow of you into a toilet today. I, I, I enjoy the fact Early. that you're, yes. you're, you're going to have that pillow in bed with you later. Uh, yeah, nah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, nah, yeah. I mean, what would the yeah, cost nah. be for you to ship a pillow that sized over to New Zealand? Because <laughs> I wouldn't be paying for it. <laughs> um, all right. Okay. Well, thank you guys for watching um, episode 105 of the Gamers Initiative podcast. Um, Astray did have to gap it early, so that's why you're not seeing him if you've joined us late. Um, please watch okay. it back. Like, share, enjoy. We've had the amazing um, Epic Treasure on today, which... I will ask her shortly where uh, we can find her um, and just myself and Elite as per usual. But Epic Treasure, where yeah. can people find you before you head out? Yeah. Um, and you can, you can drop your links into the chat if you want. Yeah. Oh, okay. Feel free. Uh, yeah. Um, on YouTube, it's the same as you can see my name in chat, just Epic Treasure. On Twitter, it's Epic Treasure with a number one. I don't know who had the original one, but whatever. Mm. And also on kick.com slash epic treasure which is a, a new streaming platform which is getting very very big traction mm-hmm. so that's nice to have um in contrast to twitch yeah so if you're a streamer i would sit and i don't have any affiliation with them but if you're a streamer now would be a great time to, to give that platform that's a go quiet. because yeah. yeah and i know that they focus on niche games too so if you're a person that plays you know the little weird games You'll have yeah. staff come into chat and um, ask if you want a feature. They'll put you on the front page there sometimes. So it doesn't have that Fortnite, COD, rah, rah, you know, that Twitch has always had. Yep. Yeah. So just saying that to give people a hand who do stream. Um, yeah, it's a really good platform. Mm-hmm. I might look at that for Conan then. Uh-huh. What was that platform yeah. again? Just say it out loud if anyone missed it. Oh, I'll type it in chat. Type um, it in chat. Kick- yeah. Awesome. Kick- this is kick.com. Um, all right, well, wow. that's the one, and then, and then put the links to your channel, yeah. The, yeah. I'm the sh- everyone can sub, or you lot. We woke, you lot we woke sub. Epic up too early, she's still still surviving. <laughs> I can't, you know, what? all these years, I still can't touch type. I literally have to look at the 
pees in <laughs> Isn't that it's how I get away in meetings. I'm like, I'm not doing work well in a meeting. Totally doing work well in a meeting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, what's the other? Oh, that's right. Twitter. It's fine. Yeah. It, it, to each their own. Um, all right. Well, before. So just... We'll head on out, guys. Thank you so much for joining. Yep. Thank you so much for watching. Um, we'll see you next week. I don't know who we've got as guests next week, but we'll have someone. Um, and hopefully, Elite won't show up for once. Hashtag delete Elite yeah. in the chat, guys, if you enjoyed the show. Um, and maybe that'll be his first thing that he sends out. Will be pillows to um, some of the fans that are diehard. That's gonna that's gonna be your first lot of merch, right, Elite? I think that's what it would do. Yeah, it'd be, yeah, that'd be wicked merch, wouldn't it? Pillows. Me pillows. Yeah. Can you actually, can you really change the dick size in Conan? Yes. Yes. You can. Okay. Not that I want to play it. I'm just, I was curious. <laughs> I'm just, I don't know. Yeah. Curious to how yeah. many games do that. <laughs> yeah. You can change the penis. And, and the women, the, on the women, you can change the breast sizes. I see. Oh, yeah. I, I did see that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's why I always, yeah. So. All right. Yeah. Well, thank <laughs> thank you all for watching. I should have stopped the stream before that started. <laughs> um, <laughs> have a great rest of your day, guys, or night, whatever time, uh, wherever you're watching from. Um, be safe and enjoy your weekend, guys. Yeah. Thank you for Thanks watching. For having me. Thank you.